the gift of discernment, same verse, is the distinguishing between spirits. Now, let me just park it here for a second and make it absolutely clear that the gift of discernment is not the gift of criticism. It's not the gift of cynicism. All too often, people try to pass off their own emotions, preferences, and misgivings as the Holy Spirit. My brother-in-law was in a hardcore band. Now, I love my brother-in-law, but hardcore wasn't really my scene, as they say. I'm sure you can't picture me doing what they do, dancing, and I would be, I would come out with broken bones and bruises and but you know, I remember going to one of their concerts, and as they're evangelizing through their music, I couldn't tell what they were saying, but everyone else could apparently. <laughs> they're evangelizing through their music, but it was it was it was loud. It was it was very, very you could feel it in your body. I remember people got saved. Not only were people getting saved at their concerts, demons were coming out of people. Like people would manifest during the concerts. So I enjoyed what God was doing, but I would enjoy it from like way in the back. And I was cheering them on from, from back there because it frightened me a little. And, <laughs> and so we're leaving and, and there's this woman there just complaining. And she's saying over and over again, oh, this grieved the Holy Spirit. This grieved the Holy Spirit. This grieved the Holy Spirit. And I didn't confront her, and it's not much you can do in a situation like that. But all I thought was, the Holy Spirit's not grieved. You are. And I think sometimes we can try to spiritualize our own preferences and call it discernment. There's a friend of mine who I worked, worked with for um, several years trying to get him onto a certain TV program. Because I knew if we can get him on that program, that audience would respond really well to his gift and that it would help open a lot of doors. So I, would, I kid you not, for maybe two years, I was working with the producer saying, you've got to get this guy on. You've got to get this guy on. You've got to get this guy on. He finally gets on. He's on there. I'm watching on, online. They did like a stream of it. So I'm watching, cheering him on. I'm looking at the comments, all positive. And then there's one comment from one person who says, I don't know. Something just doesn't sit right in my spirit about this. And you know what happened? Someone else said, I was going to say the same thing. And then someone under that, you know what? Me too. And before you know it, there's just a party of discerners. And that's called confirmation bias because there's no ministry or church or anyone that you can find that won't have a group who'll say, you know what? Something didn't sit right in my spirit about that. It's not, it's, you're not going to find the group. And they think they're right because they found each other. Oh, you saw it too? Yeah, we're spiritual. We got it. I, I saw, see, I, I, could, I couldn't do it. I couldn't watch him anymore. I couldn't go to that church anymore. I couldn't attend that meeting anymore. Just something just was off. I'm a discerner. And you know, sometimes I find that people get convicted by what you say. And it's their flesh, not their spirit, that's uncomfortable. It happened to me. First time I heard John Morgan. I forgot what he was saying. I thought, no, that's not right. It doesn't even sound spiritual. Years ago. then I'm, I didn't say anything to anyone because I, I don't do that sort of thing. But I'm driving home and the Holy Spirit tells me, you, you're convicted. I said, no, you're grieved. <laughs> Holy Spirit, no, you're convicted. You're convicted. Repent. See, had I not, had it not been for the Holy Spirit helping me out there, I would have gone home. Well, that preacher just, he doesn't, no, nah, I don't really listen to that guy. He just, something in my spirit didn't sit right. And I would have never made the changes that we would have, would have made that actually ended up helping the ministry. So discernment is not the gift of criticism. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.